Next question is from one Koner. How do you deal with someone who is very harsh on themselves? My friend has an amazing physique, especially for a teenager, yet he is constantly comparing himself to others. Lots of times they don't even look as good as him, but he is still jealous and not happy with himself. Yeah, this is, you know, when you identify so strongly with your body, you're ne- this is where you're always going to be. You will never be yeah, out gonna of- going to fall short constantly. You will never be happy um, when you identify strongly with your body. And it's look, even if you- you can be fit, ripped, uh, look perfect. At some point, if you're lucky, you're going to get older uh, and you, you're going to get old and your body's going to change. And if you identify so strongly with your body, uh, that's going to be a very scary time for you. You end up being like all these celebrities. That's, yeah, with the plastic surgery after plastic surgery and hormones. And they just, because they identified so much with, with how they look. Um, you know, your body can definitely reflect your health. So it's also important to pay attention to that. But if you identify so strongly with your body that you just you're unhappy all the time, there, there's there's no way out of that. You're always going to be unhappy. And this is look, it's funny. You'll you'll how many times have you guys had a client or a friend where they're just so critical of their bodies? Oh my god, it looks so terrible. And you're at the beach, and maybe someone takes a picture, and then 15 years later, old pictures surface, and they're like, wow. Man, look how fit I used to be, and I and you look at them and you go, "Do you remember what you used to say back then? Yeah, mm-hmm. you used to think that you looked terrible. Now you're looking back and you're wishing you could look like that again. It's all, it's all your own perception. Um, so you know, how can you help them? Well, um, the first thing I would say is take his take his uh, his focus off of the way he looks. The most effective that's step one. The most effective way I've ever found this with a client is to change it from looks to performance. Right. Yeah, not that the, that you want to stay on performance because if you identify with that too much, you can have problems too. But it's an easy, it's an easier switch. So I'd say, okay, this person is, you know, whether it's the girl who is never skinny enough or the you know, the guy who doesn't have enough muscle, I would say, okay, we're gonna don't weigh yourself, don't look in the mirror. We're gonna see how strong we can get you, and it would just shift their their perspective just long enough to where then we can talk about this a little bit, but I'd have to move them to performance. It's real, it's real easy for a bunch of old guys like us to sit here and say this, but I'll tell you something right now. Like, man, you're a teenager. You're a ball of fucking insecurities, oh, yeah. you know, and I was too. Like, yeah. and I don't know, I don't even know if, you know, old Adam could come back and talk to 17 year old Adam and say, Hey bro, yeah. stop worrying about how skinny yeah. you are. You know, I don't know because you, at that age, we all do. We all do at all ages, but at that age in particular, you are just loaded full of all these insecurities, and you're trying to figure that out. It's tough to try you to try and tell someone someone else. You can't do it well, head on because they won't believe you. I didn't when yeah. I was a teenager. If someone told me, "No, you look fine, man," I'd be like, "He's just saying that because I'm you're nice." Well, this you know? guy already is way nicer than I would have been at his age. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you mean on himself? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. If my friend was like all neurotic about that, I just would have probably made fun of him. You know? <laughs> wow. And then he would have made fun of me. It's, it was like this back and forth thing. <laughs> so I don't know, man. You're already, you're which, already winning which, by, which by is, caring about your friend. Right, right. This is what I'm just saying. exaggerate his insecurity even more, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was that Thanks, guy. friend. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, man. I, I That was a hard thing for me that I actually had to now I, I realize like uh, I should probably be nicer yeah. uh, to my friends. He's looking in the mirror and he's like, oh man, I don't look good. I'm skinny. Yeah, you like shit, uh, bro. I look like, yeah, you're right. He's like, All I look, that, I look right. like shit. Yeah. And whatever. And Justin goes, "Hey, buddy," puts his arm around him. Hey, yeah. man, yeah. you got to look at the bright side. And he's like, "Well, what's that?" Your face Justin? is a train wreck. And he's like, yeah. "You know, you got good eyesight." You, know, <laughs> you, can, you obviously can tell. <laughs> you can ob- your your perception is accurate. Yeah, <laughs> you know, look at the bright side. Right. You, know? you just <laughs> gotta shake him out of it. Yeah, you know, that's like, a good yeah. that's a good point though, Justin. I mean, yeah. you're already a good friend because you care, right? Yeah. You're already yeah. you're already. I'm a, like, I don't give a shit. You're, yeah, you're right. already a better friend because uh, I would I would have a bunch so many insecurities myself that you would push. Well, a, I know what I know what would have helped me as a teenager, and there's no way you could have talked me out of it. But I think if you did it, kind of sneakily. By changing my, I swear to God, if I had, if I was training me as a teenager, I know exactly what I do. I wouldn't be like, you're not skinny, you're not whatever. Never would have worked. I would have been like, hey, hey, listen, let's 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 worry about something else. Let's see how strong you can get. Just change the change the focus a little bit on performance, just long enough to where the person's not thinking so much about how they look. They're thinking more about how they perform. Then you might be able to start making some some headway. But if you don't change that focus, there ain't nothing you can do. Doug is uh, is sneakily another Schaeferism. 
I don't know. It might be real. Sneakily. It feels like a real word. Sneakily. I I feel like all the ones I say are real words, too. (laughs) Yeah. We have a new uh, Webster. Well, let's see if Doug just looked it up. Yeah, it's an adverb. Oh, God. Almost a job. I I thought I got you. You almost almost got electronical, dude. Yeah. Roy, listen. We're only, what, 1,200 episodes? You'll get me. You'll get me. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, look. uh, Mind Pump is recorded on video as well as audio. Uh, if you want to watch the podcast, you can check us out on YouTube, Mind Pump Podcast, where you want to check us out. Also, uh, if you want to learn more information about fitness, about fat burning and muscle building and just improving your performance, go to mindpumpfree.com. We've got a ton of guides there that can help you out. And finally, if you want to find us on social media, you want to contact us individually, you can find Justin at Mind Pump Justin on Instagram. You can find me at Mind Pump Sal also on Instagram. And Adam, he's at Mind Pump Adam. Also on Instagram.